Hi, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? It's a lovely Sunday afternoon. Um, what have I been doing today? I haven't been doing that much actually. I um, just literally washed my hair, sort of a cooked Sunday dinner and that's it really. So I'm kind of in the mood to do some filming. I thought I haven't got any makeup on and I know I've got some new makeup so let me do a video of some of my new makeup but before I do that I just wanted to remind you all because it's been a, a weird old month so far this May so I just really wanted to remind you about the current giveaways that I've got going on at the moment so of course I've got a giveaway going for this month I do a giveaway every month and that giveaway is usually consists of products that I've received in my beauty box subscriptions and it's usually products that I've decided that I'm not going to use or I don't need it for whatever reason so I usually put those products in a giveaway I do that every single month so at the moment my main box is looking actually quite empty which is a bit weird considering it's sort of halfway through the month already well it's nearly towards the end of the month so if I show you what's inside the May box at the moment, got other things in there. So I've got the um, Winky, Winky, is it Winky, Winksy or Winky Lux Universal Eyebrow Pencil that I received in my FabFit fund. So I've got that in there at the moment. I've got the Steve Laurent Eyeshadow Palette that was in the, was it in the Glossy Box? Yeah, it was in the Glossy Box of May. So that's in there at the moment. I've got a Tony Moly face mask that was in the ASOS beauty box which I did at the beginning of the month. Um, I've got a Magnetone wipeout cloth so it's one of those eraser cloths which you could just you just wet it and it can remove all of your makeup that was I think in the look fantastic box I want to say it might not have been but it was definitely one of my beauty boxes I did at the beginning of the month I um, haven't got many things in here actually and this is what I'm a bit worried about. I've got this Balance Me Hyaluronic Plumping Mist Spray. Um, that was in the Look Fantastic box I want to say. I've also got this. This is an Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. Not sure which box. ASOS possibly, not sure which box that was in and um, I've also got in here a hydrogel lip mask is that so this box for May is I must say it is looking I would say particularly empty considering it's one of my giveaway boxes but I'm hoping to get some of my American Beauty boxes maybe this week post was very slow in America and it usually takes 10 to 14 days to get to me so those May boxes may not arrive until the end of this week or the beginning of June. So if anything comes inside those American Beauty Box subscriptions, which, are, which will be coming in the next few days, if there's anything inside those which I um, choose not to keep for myself, I will put them inside this box. Um, so they will be included, even if they do come at the beginning of June. So don't worry, this box will be supplemented. I've also got other products as well, which I could also add inside here but we'll see how it goes over this next week but usually with my May giveaways they end on the last day of the month so May's got 31 days so that's usually the closing date if you want to enter the giveaway for May again all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel and then follow and then go to the look fantastic video because I think that was the illegible video go to the look fantastic video which I recorded at the beginning of this month all the instructions are in there but the details of my giveaways are down in the description box and I normally put the video which you need to go to inside next to the details so just click on the link and it'll take you to the right video the other giveaway I've got which I started God, it must be nearly six months ago and I can't believe it's taken me this long to nearly get to this point. So I did a give a giveaway for when I hit 3,000 subscribers. It's obviously taken me a lot longer than I thought to get to the 3,000 subscribers. I'm still not there yet, but I'm getting closer. I think I'm about 10 away from the 3,000. I think I'm on 2,990 now, something like that. So I've 
I need another 10 subscribers. Once I've hit 3,000, or usually once I've passed it, so I'm suddenly at that 3,000 mark, I will do a giveaway. The giveaway prize for that is actually a Cult BT Starter Kit box. So this is a box that is worth £30. It costs £30 on the Cult BT website. I think they're out of stock at the moment. And the box has, let me show you what I've got inside this box. So again, this is for when I hit 3,000 subscribers. There is an illegible video for that. So again, look in my description box because I literally can't remember which video it is because it was so long ago when I started this. Um, so if you look in the description box, there is a link to the correct video and you need to do your entry in that video. Not this video, which we're doing, you're watching now, that particular video because that's where I'll be looking for my winners. So inside this Cult Beauty box is, right, so you've got the leaflet about the products in there. Oh yes, I remember, I put in a Tartist uh, Pro Glow palette. So let me show you what that is. And it is just one winner for this one. So this is the palette and it looks like this. Oops, don't drop anything. So it's a, well, I've just dropped the thing, I'll pick it up in a moment. So it's like a, um, a Pro Glow contour palette. So you've got contour shades at the bottom there and you've got highlighters. So that's inside it. I will retrieve the plastic protectant. So I got that in one of my American Beauty boxes and I decided that wasn't for me because the shades wouldn't be dark enough for my skin, especially the contour one. So I decided to put that in this box. What was included inside this box was a squalene cleanser from The Ordinary. So you've got that. You've got a Pixie uh, Retinol Tonic. So you've got that. There was a Charlotte Tilbury um, sample. It was a Match Revolution lipstick. Let me show it to you. So it was this. I'll show you the colour in a minute. So it was a little giddy thing like that. And that was the colour, so it's Charlotte Tilbury. To show that to you. Yep, there's that. This is the product for me. Um, this um, this was from Glow Recipe, and it was a watermelon sleep mask. This product is gorgeous, by the way. And again, this sells for I can't remember, but it's on the Cult Beauty website, and this is a full size, and it's got a price of something like twenty pounds, I think. Don't quote me on that, but that's inside the box. So you know the contents of this box are already well, it's going towards a hundred pounds already, isn't it? Then you've got this. You've got the Huda Beauty Topaz Eyeshadow Palette. Have you seen that? And I think this is worth what twenty seven pounds, something like that. So if I show this to you. So that's the palette in there yeah so that's inside this box you've also got a, a NARS um, orgasm and this is like a multi-purpose product so I think it's something you can use on your cheeks and you can use on your lips and wherever you want wherever else you want to put it I'll show it to you <clears throat> so that's what it looks like I don't know if it's full size or not so I can't tell you that. This is what it looks like and it's that kind of product. So it's one of those multi-purpose products, so cheeks, lips, that sort of thing. So that's in here as well. And this is a product, a final product I added. And this is a bath bomb from Ascent. Okay, so that is in my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I am nearly there. So as soon as I hit the 3,000 subscribers, and it's definitely confirmed at 3,000, so it's not like 3,000 or one. So once I probably get to about 3,005, and I can see that I'm definitely over the 3,000, I will then pick a winner. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I mean, that's it, that's all you've got to do, is subscribe to my channel, then make sure you enter by looking at the details on the correct video as I said I can't remember which video it is but all the details are down in the description box about my giveaways so click on to so make sure you subscribe to my channel click onto the illegible video and do what you need to do on that video all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel it doesn't cost you anything to do that so you know guys that's all you gotta do right let's put this stuff away
right so the main point of this video today is for me to try out some new products that i have received so this parcel came this morning it was delivered from b to bay and if i remember correctly i did order a few little products in there so let me just um spray this box with my alcohol sanitizer and if you remember this is from anna kate loss and they have got a 25% sale on this weekend so you can get two of these two hand sanitizers so you can use it for your hands for sanitizing and to sanitize any hard surfaces you can get two of these for under 10 pounds at the moment so that's a pretty good price if you ask me because I think lots of um, alcohol sanitizers because the cost cost of the raw ingredients now has actually gone up because of demand so these are um, alcohol sanitizers are selling at quite a big price at the moment so if you can get one at a decent price then get hold of them so yeah this is from beauty bay let's see what i purchased okay all right so <laughs> i forgot about that so i, I purchased a, a new sort of underarm shaver basically so it was like a wet and dry shaver so that's for me and yes i ordered revolution revolution glow bronzer and i also ordered the revolution pro cc cream spf 30 and i'm looking at the color and i think i went too dark oh dear go and buy that strip up there it looks like I might have gone too dark let me show you what the color looks like oh I don't want to break any seals though because if I have to send this back oh the only way to do this is to break the seal isn't it oh so infuriating I hope they, I hope they accept returns right that's the color oh I might get away with that actually the main reason why I got this it was mainly because I wanted to um make sure I'm wearing sunscreen of some sort because I've started sort of new skincare regimes now most of the products that I'm using require me to wear sun protection factor during the day and I hate wearing loads and loads of different products on my face so I don't want to put on all my skin serums then put on a sun protection factor then put on a foundation so if I can do something which is combined that is better so I decided to go for this I thought I'd order this and I think I'm going to try that out today so I think it's a fairly new product from Revolution Pro so I think it's fairly new so let me see how much it is right so this Revolution Pro CC Perfection Foundation on Beauty Bay costs 10 pounds you get 26 milliliters in there and how many shades do we have oh I don't know we have do they say they seem to have a, a full range of colors lots of fair light medium tan dark and deep i would say undertones vary i think i struggled in trying to find a dark deep neutral undertone so i went for shade 16.5 and how is that described yeah dark so 16.5 was described as dark skin tones with an olive undertone so i thought okay that might be all right for me because my skin tone is neutral olive either way um i know that i can't wear anything with too much of a yellow undertone i can't wear anything with a, too much of a cool and i can't wear anything with too much of a red or warm undertone i am very much a neutral undertone and if it's neutral with olive even better don't know why that is but that seems to be my skin tone so i went for 16.5 and i'm hoping this will be all right how it's described here is it says say hello to your next foundation hero revolution pro cc cream perfecting foundation spf 30 offer sheer to full buildable coverage whilst leaving the skin hydrated and protected perfect for dry to combination skin i'm oily but hey ho the foundation is formulated with hyaluronic acid to hydrate, um, collagen to plump and antioxidant vitamin E to protect and reduce redness. Ideal for diffusing the appearance of wrinkles whilst offering long lasting coverage. It's vegan, it's cruelty free and with a compression tube for zero waste. So that sound sounded all promising. So I thought, right, I've got that. So I've got that. 
I also purchased from Revolution recently because um, I wanted to give this foundation another try because I know I've tried it in the past and I really didn't like it and I thought right, I've got to give it another go and it did build up the shade range so I got the Conceal and Divine foundation so it's a full coverage foundation and I got this in shade 14.5 so because that when I looked on the site it was described correctly for my undertone so I thought right okay let me try that out because I think one of the reasons I didn't like it before was that the shade was completely wrong and it felt very oily on my skin so let me try that again I also bought a concealer I do like this concealer this concealer I tried before um especially after Tarte Shape Tape was cancelled. So I have bought this before, but I bought the smaller one and that went really quickly. So I bought the super size one, Concealing Define, and I bought this in the shade, what shade is this? 12.5, so I'm using it as a highlighter, under eye highlighter. So I will use that today. Um, I also purchased a lipstick from Revolution. This was their Revolution Pro range and it was new neutral it's called a new neutral it's a satin matte lipstick and i bought it in the shade seclusion so this is what it looks like it's really nice packaging but we're not buying it for the packaging are we we're buying it for the shade so i think that should be all right i might need a lip liner so i'll put in that on today and i might even need a, a gloss but we will see and i think that's it and i bought the bronzer as well so i have bought several bronzers because i don't know if you remember I don't know if you remember but when I did the Fenty Beauty new cream products video I tried a cream bronzer and I tried a cream blush and the cream bronzer I really was not happy with at all it was more like a contour and it was very very cool toned so I did go on a bit of a splurge afterwards and I bought some new bronzers so I bought this one from Revolution Glow Splendor Glow because one of you guys in my well a couple of you actually in my in that video that Fenty video told me to try this from Rev revolution beauty or revolution pro and i think this was selling for eight pounds yeah so it was eight pounds um being sold for so got that and i've got that from beauty bay and again great packaging can you see that all right too much light there we go Oh, that looks really dark, but it's got a red to it as well, I think. So that's that. And the colour I've got here is deep. So I, it, um, what I liked about this, which I thought was amazing, that Revolution Pro were introducing bronzers, particularly for dark, deep skin tones. And I thought, wow, how many brands do that? That's just brilliant. And I know, I know Fenty has got an all-inclusive um, bronzer range. Um, no big makeup brand has ever just introduced a range of products just for deep skin tones and I thought wow especially you know in Britain as well I know Covergirl did the whole Queen range which is now no longer but in the UK there's never been any brand I, I can think of that's ev ever just produced products just for dark deep skin tones so I think that is fantastic so I've got that bronzer I purchased and I've got the Morphe one what did I do with the Morphe one so this is the Morphe one which I purchased That's what the Morphe one looks like. So this one looks more red. If I compare the two. So the Morphe one is in shade Leader. So that's Leader. And this is the Revolution Pro one. And this is in shade Deep. So if you look at the two, the Morphe one does look more red. So that's cool. So I'll be wearing the Revolution one today. And the other bronzer I purchased as well. I did, as I said, I, I kind of went on a bronzer splurge because I was so disappointed with that Fenty Beauty one. So the other bronzer I bought was from Benefit, and it's the Hula Toasted. So, and this is, and I've been using this, and it works beautifully. So that's this one. So you've got that one. So if I show you all three shades together, I mean, this one has worked beautifully, and that's what I've been wearing a lot recently. This is, so that's the Revolution one. You can see the colour in comparison. And the Morphe one. So, Morphe, Revolution, and the Benefit 
beauty i'll do swatches of all three so you can see what all three colors look like on me so this is the morphe one So that's Morphe, you can hardly see it can you? Yeah, is that better? So that's the Morphe one right there. Then here's the Revolution Pro one, different finger. So that looks darker but it looks like it's going to be alright. And if I do the the Hula Toasted one from Benefit. Yeah, so this one looks more red, but all three look like they're going to be fine. So I'm perfectly happy with that. So let's put these all away. I'm just going to put on some of these products and see how they look. Not going to get fully tested because it is quite late in the day. It's already three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm just literally just going to be going out and doing some Pokemon hunting later on. So I will need some SPF on my face. So let's put some of this stuff on. So I'm not going to go with a whole wear test today, unfortunately. I just really wanted to see how these products look on me. Um, nothing's going to be getting tested in the way how I'm used to test foundation. Well, I'm not doing any long work days like I used to. So let's do this. So primer I'm using today is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Priming Water. I've been absolutely loving this. Um, you can see I've nearly finished it and I will buy another one. I got this in one of my American Beauty boxes. I can't remember which one. I want to say it was Boxer Charm. I think it was Boxer Charm. And it was great. It was just really, really good. So I've been using it um, instead of my Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer, which is the one I've always used forever and ever and ever. I mean, that's nearly finished. I have got a backup, but I've just enjoyed using this one. It's just been really, really good. It's, it's um, foundation has applied to it properly. It's been helping for my products to last a long time. I've been very, very happy with it. Let's try this out then. So this is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation and I'm wearing it in shade 16.5 and I'm hoping like crazy that it's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to use a sponge to apply. Oh, it's got a nice pump. I do like, I do like this way of dispensing foundations actually, or base products I should say, because it's not a foundation. I think the colour is going to be all right. Ignore the sponge. I know it's not as clean as it could be, but hey ho. Right, let's see. What are we thinking? I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, it's a bit red, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a bit red in undertone. It's so much for the olive. And I think that's why I didn't like the um, the Conceal and Define foundation because I found it really, really red. This is supposed to be an olive undertone. This is really red. I don't know if the redness is shown up on camera, but to me, that is a totally red undertone. But I can wear it, it'll do. But you can see it's, it colour match, it's not great. If you look at my face and my neck, it's not great. As one layer, it's not too bad coverage wise. I'd say it's a light to medium coverage, which is really all you need in this time. Don't really need full coverage, especially in summer. Um, it's got SPF 30 in it, but there's no ashy ashiness to it. So that's good. Um, disappointed about the color, but I don't know what else I could have done. There was no other color I could have gone for unless I went really dark. It would have gone too dark. Or too light so let's do the other side well you can see how it looks on my face this is no makeup on that side and that's with the the CC cream on it okay let's do the other side So this, if you remember, this is £10 um, being sold on Beauty Bay. 
there are other sites that sell it so I will try and put on the screen the different prices from different sites but I think £10 is the normal price so if you want it's a nice affordable price um, so if you're looking for light coverage with an SPF a decent SPF 30 is okay then that is a decent product to get um, again I'd say it's definitely for people with drier skin I've got oily skin so you can see that I have got a lot of sheen going on here but I'm going to put some powder on and hopefully that will take away some of the sheen there's dewy there's glow and then there's shiny and I'd say this is on the shiny side let's put some of the concealer on so this is the Revolution Super Size Concealer and Define Full Coverage Concealer. I've got it in the shade 12.5 because I'm going to be using it as an under eye brightener rather than as a concealer. There you go. Massive doe foot. So when I do my under eye concealer, I do bring it over my eyes as well. So it provides a base for my eyes as well. Okay. All right, looking a little bit better already. I'm just gonna put some powder on now. So let's grab a powder. So I haven't got a Revolution uh, setting powder. So the one I'm going to be using is from Milani and it's a translucent medium to deep setting powder in number two and it looks like this. Again, I'll put the, the price of the product and I can't remember where I purchased from, but I'll put um, supply details on the screen as well. Right. coming together slowly here isn't it so it is definitely coming together now so doesn't look so red doesn't look so shiny right I'm going to put some of this bronzer on now because that's the main product these this and the CC cream are the two products I really wanted to test out today so I'm going to do this bronzer and I'm going to use my Sigma what do they call this Sigma soft angled contour f23 brush it's this one so I'm just going to use that a little bit of kickback when you do it but it's not too much let's see how this looks It's looking almost like a contour actually isn't it interesting hmm it's looking almost like a contour I'm just gonna try the I'm just gonna compare it to the Morphe one so I'm just gonna get the Morphe one out so the Morphe one I've got in leader so I'm just gonna compare the two and do the other side of my face with that Right, the brush I'm going to be using is the one I got from Ipsy and it's their uh, bronzer brush, I think they called it. I love these brushes. I think it was called Complex Cooter Brushes. We got this in one of the Ipsy bags. I think it was the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus I got this and I've been using this for bronzer. So on this side is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Deep. So that's on this side and I'm thinking this is looking more like a contour. It's actually coming off quite cool, not as red as I'd wanted it to, but you know, I know a lot of people like this kind of effect. I like a little bit more red in my bronzer. So I'm on this side, I'm gonna try the Morphe Glamour Bronze in shade Leader. So let's do this. Yeah, this is more what I want. because I've taken away some of the red from my face by putting on the face powder because the CC cream gave me a lot of red. Um, this is now giving me back some of that red. <laughs> you know what, I think of all the bronzers I've purchased, I think the ones that seems to be working the best for me is the Benefit Hula Toasted one actually. I mean I can use all of these but they're not quite right. So this one's a little bit too red 
this one's a little bit too cool but the hula one is just right and so is the one I've been using for years the Bobby Brown one Bobby Brown one in deep four that works really well as well so but that's more high-end more expensive and so is the benefit one because I think that's like nearly 20 pounds as well isn't it these ones were sort of 10 pounds and under and that's why I really wanted to feature them today okay so what do we think Morphe bronzer that one or the Revolution Pro bronzer I don't know I don't know guys don't know right there we go so we've got two bronzers on there let me now just put on some eyes brows and stuff so i'm going to do that quickly i'll probably speed through all this bit now Right, okay, so done my eyes, very, very simple eye look. Um, I was trying to keep it on the more affordable range, but I was looking for something with yellow in it, and the only thing I could think of with um, a yellow shadow was my Life is a Drag palette, which I received in a boxy charm last month for April. So that was all cool. I've used the bronzers, um, what have I got on? lip liner i have got on i have kept with revolution pro so lip liner i have got on is one of the revolution ones and this is in the shade glory glory is very similar um, in shade to the mac chestnut so it's a much much more affordable similar shade to the mac chestnut and finally the lipstick i'm going to put on is the revolution pro lipstick and this is the what's it called this is the it's in the shades of neutral so it's called new neutral satin matte lipstick and the shade i've got is seclusion and it looks like this and that's what i'm going to put on now oh not the color i expected it to be but i'll make it work definitely not a colour I would normally go for I thought it would be a little bit darker that's how it looked in the photograph on the site but if I just use the liner just to give it more of an ombre there we are all right so what are my first impressions of all the products I've used today so with the Revolution Pro CC perfecting foundation I was wearing it in shade 16.5 it's given me what I want it's given me the coverage so to cover up my uneven skin tones or hyperpigmentation and so on but more, more importantly it's given me the SPF 30 which is what I want the shade wasn't right it, it was described as an olive undertone but it was very red in undertone for me for my taste but I've made it work so it's doing what I wanted to do and I will probably continue to wear it so there's no issues I will still wear it but I've made it work by using the conceal and define as my under eye highlighter and my nose highlighter so I've made it work by that so by putting that sort of more down my cheeks um, so to cover more of the area and blending out it kind of gives me some 
it gives me some definition and shade on my face so it doesn't make the red so apparent especially on the center part of my face the bronzer the so the revolution glow splendor ultra matte bronzer in deep i it it works as a bronzer but i would say it's more of a contour so very much similar to the fenty cream bronzer same issues i found with that with the fenty one it was definitely more cool this is cool but it has got some red in it so that's so it's a little bit more forgiving so i could use it as a bronzer and as a contour so that's what i've got on this side of my face whereas on this side of my face i use the morphe bronzer in um so this is the glam what they're called these, these are called the glam bronzer in the shade leader that's giving me more red on this side of my face so i would say between the two of them they kind of both work if i kind of combine the two they both work um i would say it, when it comes to my preferences and my bronzers that i've got in my possession i would still say the hula bronzer to toasted and my bobby brown um my bobby brown deep four bronzer are still my favorites they give me the color that i want but both of them are much more expensive they're more in the 20 pound region whereas these two the revolution and the morphe are in the sort of 10 pound or 10 pounds and below price range so it really depends on what your tastes are and what your budget is really i can use all four of them so it's not an issue the lipstick the the formula of the lipstick is nice it's a cream lipstick um so it's a satin cream as they say so very comfortable the color wasn't what i expected it's not the kind of color i would go for i know many people of my coloring would wear shades like this it's just not colors that i'm i'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with i've made it work for me by using the lip liner glory so that that again is by from from revolution so overall i am happy with what i've got on um i would wear i'd use all of these products again and for for every day especially during the summer i'm more than happy to use all of these products so for me yeah it, it's worked it's it's a thumbs up um but do if you can oh, see this is the problem because we can't test out products because we can't go into shops and test them out it's difficult to to know what's going to be the right shade of the CC foundations um, it looked to me this looked like it was going to be near to my color so I, I, I gave it a go and it'll work I can go with it but do be careful um, the colors definitely don't match up with the foundations completely different colors um, so don't think if you go for your color in the foundation it's going to be the same color in the CC cream it doesn't look like they will be but again, that's just my opinion and how it's worked for me. I'm not sure if I will do another video where I try this foundation out because I have done one already. But I do want to do a video trying out another foundation which has got a really high SPF and that is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. So I have purchased that. The colour looks like it might be a little bit light but again I think I can make it work. Um, and this has got an SPF 50. So a, uh, a video me trying this one out is coming up but there you go guys that's how it's all looking at the moment what are you thinking do you think it works do you think it's worked for me um what are you guys using as your your spf foundation how are you how are you protecting your skin during the summer and getting your coverage i'm using cc creams more than foundations that's what i prefer to use in the summer what are you guys doing are you just putting on loads of sunscreen and leaving it out that are you are you um, using foundations but using in, using your SPF factors and your moisturizers? What are you doing? How are you managing it all? All right. So again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, I have got these two giveaways going at the moment. So I've got the 3,000 subscriber one. So as soon as I hit the 3,000, I'll be picking a winner. And the prize is that Cult Beauty box and the other products I've put inside there. And I've also got the May, um, the May giveaway as well. And that will be closing at the end of May, which will be May the 31st. And I normally pick a winner sort of two, three days afterwards. Any winner that I do pick, I normally put their names 
underneath there comment in the video so please look out for the comments underneath the video and if you've got an Instagram address I will attach I will contact you by Instagram as well I do give no more than two days for someone to get back to me with their contact details if they don't contact me in that two days after I've announced it then I will go on and pick somebody else I've, I like to keep things rolling so I don't like to have things building up in my house so if you don't get in touch with me within two days I do go ahead and pick somebody else so do look out for that particularly for the monthly giveaways know the end date and know that I'll be picking the winner usually the day after and I'll put the comment underneath their comment in the illegible video all right guys thanks very much for watching I will right, we'll see you soon take care